Okay, editing trickery done. We're doing part two of the tutorial. So uh, I think my health might be a little different because I made a mistake of sorts and wanted to record part two again. So this part is just the springs. This is uh, the last part of the root area of the game, like the first area where stuff is green, your typical starting area for a game. Anyway, so um, I had to record a save state here because... This screen here is a hidden item screen. And oh yeah, I did the thing. <laughs> nice. So I grabbed this ladder perfectly, like with the very top of my head. It's possible to get clipped by the second ghost if you do this perfectly. Nice. And that'll screw up the, the way to do this screen. So you can actually do it too well. <laughs> so what you do is you wanna climb, get hit by the third ghost, and jump off. That's actually not quite the best way. Uh, you know how I was saying, like, you want your health to be half full, but if it's a little too low, you can turn magic into health in a few ways. And here's one of them. Uh, wow, I somehow missed it. You have to use a deluge, by the way. Oh, I did it too well again. There we go. And I like to equip my wing boots on the second screen. Well, you want to equip them not on the screen we're going to use them, which is the next screen. And, the re and here's the reason why. So, there's a... an invisible timer that's always going. Oh, I, what's the... I forgot the memory address. I'd look it up, but... This tutorial's going to be too long anyway. So, there's a global timer that counts from 0 to 255, goes up by 1 every single frame, and it just divides by 64 to subtract from the wing boots timer. This timer is spinning even while the game is paused, though. Uh, or if you're in the menu. So, but the timer also, like, dials to 0 whenever you touch a screen boundary. So, and it takes 80 frames to scroll the screen, I think. So basically what I'm saying is that if your wing boots are already equipped, and you walk to... just put your front foot on this crack in the floor here. Look at that, nice big 40. You can touch the screen and it'll say 39. Whereas... Let's say I uh, equip him later. Let's say I equip him on this screen. Timer's gonna start at 39, calling it. Oh no, I got a nice big 40. Oh, huh, weird. Oh, but no pausing. We're not not doing any pausing. This is a tutorial for, for newer runners. I guess I equipped them too well. Wow, I'm like... <laughs> I'm climbing too well. Oop, but then I pressed up after getting hit, and that made me cling to the ladder again. Falling off the bottom is really bad because uh, there's ointment hiding on that screen. And going to any hidden item screen will increase that uh, secret item visits counter by one. And that'll screw up the route uh, if you, like, climb back onto that screen. Anyway, well, I'm still in the habit of clawing the controller. But we're not going to press the start button. Uh, you can also snipe this ghost and let go of A a little bit. So what I like to do is, you know, just barely touch that landing and jump over. That's a little bit hard, though, isn't it? Oops. Oh, I should at least show off. Like, let's say you do get knocked off here. Well, what you gotta do is you gotta go around. Oh, I got shot anyway. Unfortunate. Let's try. Quick wing boots here. Use on the crack. No, oh, I still got a nice big 40. Another thing you can do is just shoot this guy. Fly over. Ow. Oh, my health is not doing so hot here. Oh, yeah. I guess I'll, like, go into wing boots controls here before we get too carried away. So, again, press down B to use items. So, you can see on input display here, if I, if I press A, I'll float slowly toward the ground. 
Uh, if you press up and A, you'll ascend. However, you cannot gain... You're stuck at minimum walk speed. Like, see how my left-right speed is, like, horribly slow? As soon as I let go of up, though, you know, I can either fall slowly or I can glide left and right. By the way, Woodboy, thanks for subscribing with Prime. So anyway, see how I can, like, gain walk speed? As long as I'm not pressing up. You can get that cool, like, gliding on the ground. And you gotta, like, switch left-right in one frame, like you're fast-charging in Super Metroid, or you're gonna lose walk speed. Wing boosts have a weird property where they make it so it's you don't have a uh, fixed jump arc anymore while wing boots are active. Look at this. We're Mario now. You can wiggle back and forth in the air. Wait, did I just short hop too? How am I doing that? <laughs> you can fast fall. Like faster than gravity will. Hmm, interesting. But yeah, that's your um wing boots move set. Remember that if you attack while rising, you're gonna shoot a deluge because you're pressing up B. Anyway, so something I see, the reason why I'm talking about this though, I see a lot of runners, like when they have their wing boots out, they're like, they're holding up the whole time and they're, they're like hugging ceilings at minimum speed, like doing this more than they have to. I mean, gliding doesn't happen very often, but... Again, with the good climbing. Okay. Put wing boots on the way down. Front foot on the crack. And yeah, you want to touch the screen boundary before it goes down to 38. So again, just let yourself drop so you can at least build a bit of walk speed. And you can still get a nice quick jump in there. You have to let go of up, and then you can talk to this guy's feet. Or his knees, I guess. Like, the hitbox for talking to this guy is pretty big. Like, look how far away I am, and the thing is you have to let go of up and then press up again. So, you gotta ascend a little higher than you might think. The Poseon, by the way. Ooh, almost got shot there. CPU didn't like it. Okay. Let's make a quick save state. Because this screen you can do a few different ways. Oh. Oh, and I'll briefly talk about ladder rejumping, but I'm not going to expect anyone to actually do it. Uh, this is just a good screen to show it off. This isn't like a, you know, learning how to ladder rejump is not a make or break thing. Um, basically, you just got to be holding the A button and let go of up or down. And when you let go of A, look at this, I'm in a standing state. Now, how can you climb higher? You hold A... Press up and let go of up, then let go of A. This is a good screen to practice, actually. Well, there's better screens that have bigger ladders, but this one's nice and long and you can, like, jump on it repeatedly. But again, this route, you know, it's not going to be essential. So you want to take the hit from that guy, because then you can use your deluge to get revenge. Another option, though, if you can't spend the deluge. There you go. So you can do, uh... Once I'm standing on this thing... Oops. <laughs> wow, I got wrecked. It's because I'm kind of, like, jumping from the wrong spot. Or maybe I gotta wiggle to the right a little bit? Or not? Wow, I'm getting wrecked. Usually this doesn't happen. Okay. Oh, missed the bread, though. Just for the sake of demonstrating. I'm just kind of pressing A and B without anything on the D-pad. Probably I can start flying once I'm doing that. Oh, and then I'm in the habit of doing ladder rejumps. Sorry, I won't do those. There we go. Nice relaxing climbing. Oh, wait. I don't want to equip my jack key there, either. 
can still climb ladders faster with wing boots. If you want to know uh, how to le uh, do good wing boot pausing, by the way, oh, I haven't even done any of that, but... I guess I'll show off three of them on this screen. I have a separate video that explains how to do those for various sections of the game. Okay, and usually what I... Oh. I usually equip my jack key here, but it works better if I'm clawing the controller, because I gotta press select to open the menu, or start B and A if I'm doing pausing. But I usually equip my jack key there. Where you equip it to maybe juke like your wing boot timer going down by one, you can find a, a nice spot. Well, I might have to do some pausing here, just because 14 on the clock is not... No, wait, what am I talking about? It's fine for this route. Anyway. So, coming into here... Um... Oh yeah, one other thing with wing boot controls. Um, it's faster to... if you want to gain height. It's faster to jump and then press up. If you just press... You know, if I'm just holding up, I'm gonna get a hit. This is why you want to learn to jump and then start flying. In fact... See how I, I did the same thing I was talking about earlier, where I just press A, then B, so I can hit him with my dagger and not shoot a deluge. Just in case you're, like, really hurting on your magic meter. I mean, using a deluge is fine too, but you don't have to. Anyway, we're gonna climb into here. So this is the famous Joker Bees screen. Um, so you gotta kill all the bees on this screen. This is our fourth visit to a special item screen. Because, um, the screen you use the Matic on has a red potion hidden on it. Then there's ointment on the screen outside of Fourpaw, that's our second visit. And then flying back up on our way here, with the wing boots active as our third visit, this is our fourth visit to a hidden item screen. There's gonna be wing boots that'll appear on the ledge if we can kill the bees. So you gotta sandbag a little bit. Also fly to the right a little bit to give your shot some extra distance. And then uh, most routes will get an extra wing boots here. Oh no! I missed it. So you can get a third pair of wing boots here to use later in the run. And that's why having some extra magic is good. Three deluges is the fastest way to clear this screen. Uh, let's say you don't have enough though. Say you only had one. Let's go like that. And you want to refresh your wing boots um, because if they run out, the game freezes and you get hit with this the power of the wing boots is gone dialog box. So you can save yourself three seconds by refreshing them before they run out. Okay, so the reason why we managed our health is for this next screen here. There's going to be a giant wyvern that is going to hit you. Well, it doesn't have to, though. You get body checked by it, you'll lose that much. You get shot by the fireball, though, that does even more. And you might, I mean, it might still be better to take the fireball if you've got way too much health. Like, looking at this health bar, I'd say it's too much. But maybe we can go like that. Yeah, you can, uh, I'm saying you can fly to go around the wyvern. You can also shoot it for some reason. That's way too much health, though. Uh, I think for the sake of demonstration, let's go with the body check here. Actually, no. Let's go with the, uh... Oh. Alright, we... <laughs> like this, uh, taking the fireball. That's, that's about how much health I want. Okay, so for this screen, uh, if you have too much health, you can take the hit from Pizza Head. Pizza Head does a good chunk of damage. These minotaurs always jump over you, by the way. Just walk at them. Okay, so right here... Oh, remember to hold A. There we go. You pretty much... You don't have to climb this ladder, this is something I just thought of now. Hmm. Looks like climbing the ladder is faster, though. Interesting. If you're 
pro, you can... No. <laughs> that wasn't very pro. There we go. Get some re-jumps in there. But yeah, this is another thing you gotta manage your health for. You gotta have enough health to take this shot from this panda here. Uh, if you don't, though, there's ways around it. You can get hit by the Minotaur instead. If you have, like, you know, if you're on Magic Pixel or something, you can't get hit by anything. You can fire a deluge. And... Hmm. Actually, you don't even need the deluge. There you go. Okay, so this screen... That's the fast way up, but there's this weird uh, wraparound mechanic. left side, though, you should avoid it. I'm gonna take the wraparound hit on purpose here. Because I have a little too much health. Okay, good. And then I'm just gonna make a save state here. Um, I've still got too much health. I want to take a hit from these bees. I can't afford to take it. Oh, that's just one way to do it. Oh, but two, two bees is too many. Again, another weird mechanic with wa uh, walking speed here. I can't jump over both of these steps at minimum walk speed. I need to, like, walk into the floor a little bit first. And then I'll clear it. I like to glide on this screen, too, for swag. Okay. So we're gonna talk to this guy. Oh, yeah, and if you have empty health and you can't afford to get hit by bees, then just wait. Like, it's pretty easy to avoid getting hit by bees. I think a lot of runners, like, are scared of bees, but bees do, like, very little damage. I think they do two damage. So this is why you gotta bring your elixir here. And let's say you're running for a marathon. You know, let, let's say my elixir did run out. I'll show you where the backup elixir is. It's a bit of a journey, but... And no shame, I'm, I'm doing a lot of re-jumps because we're not supposed to be here anyway. Yeah, your wing boots are gonna run out. Climb off the ladder there. We're almost at the elixir, so I don't care if I'm taking hits. There we go! You can even get hit on purpose to uh, refresh it. You can get some wing boots for your trouble too. I think the wing boots are always there, too. Like, I think it's just a reward for taking out the rock dropper. Oh! Poison? Uh-oh. Can we make it out of here? These minotaurs don't do very much damage either, by the way. Ooh, can I take a hit from another one? Let's find out. And then just let this one hit me? Yes! Just avoid the wraparound hit at the bottom, though. Like, I'll just climb back down to show. What? Don't climb up when they're, uh, at the bottom. Or you'll get killed. Like that. <laughs> there you go, and that's how you, uh, recover from a marathon death. Anyway, give this guy elixir to revive the second spring. You don't have to mash A through dialogue, by the way. You just have to press A when the little upside-down triangle comes up. <laughs> Poison. We already had that typo, but yeah. Okay, I'm gonna make another save state. So, I like to buy my queen key here, but 
for some categories that aren't any percent, it's like actually better to buy two queen keys later. Be all marathon submission. Interesting. This is the only queen key we need to finish the game. So yeah, you can take the hit and jump up the ladder to save some time. I like to equip my joker key um, early on as well. Uh, if you have two wing boots, though... Oh yeah, it's better to equip your joker key before you buy your queen key. Because you can just press up in your item menu and it'll be at the bottom. If you got more than one wing boots, for whatever reason, you'll have to, you know, press it twice. Really small optimization, but whatever. Anyway, so this screen. We gotta go uh, on third visit. We're gonna make this ointment appear. And the way to get it is pretty tricky. Let's see. One, two, three. Nice. So I'm gonna demonstrate one more time. That's what it looks like if you screw it up. So let's do it one more time. Put that. Oh, I forgot to get my queen key in this timeline. Well, in that case, I'm gonna do it at half speed. So what we do is it's a neutral jump, like we press B, then neutral jump, and then do one deluge. Oh, I attacked too early, actually. Guess I get to do it again. And there's another, um, notice how I didn't get an attack animation for the third one. Um, I haven't quite worked out the timing on that. I guess it means that I'm doing it, like, in the later frames of that initial stab. Uh, you could just, like, fire deluges for all of them to make it more certain. Because, like, your dagger hitbox is, like, it starts at the handle, I think. Like, this little chunk sticking out here. Um, Deluge starts inside you, though, so you can hit enemies that are closer to you with Deluge. Anyway, back to full speed. You're gonna take this ointment and jump into Joker Spring and do some Wyvern farming. Alright, these Wyverns are scary. They have 75 HP, but the easy way to kill them... I'll just do it once and talk about it after. So I'm pressing B twice, twice, once, once, in those four jumps. This is also getting in two hits with the dagger each time as well. So that's 22 plus 22 plus 16 plus 16 damage, and these guys have 75 HP. So that's 76 damage in just four jumps. You actually have enough time to kill five wyverns, but you have to do it perfectly. And because with this beginner route, it's not even necessary. You can also pause there to give yourself one more item second if you want. Oops. And you want to walk backwards a little bit there to get that extra coin. Uh, you can kill that guy while you have ointment going if you want, but it's not very efficient with a uh, with dagger. And you're always going to get hit here no matter what. You must learn to accept it. If you somehow made a mistake while wyvern farming, you can take that thing out right there. Get some health back. We're gonna go back to four paw to buy the weapon we're gonna use for the rest of the game. A longsword. Longsword not only does twice as much damage, it does ten damage instead of five. It's also got a way better hitbox. We can hit spiky enemies with a standing strike now. Oh, good thing I made a save state. This is called the slack snack. <laughs> you can also get more health there. Um, 
You don't have to kill this guy, but other categories usually do. We gotta make 4,500 gold by the time we get to two towns later. It seems like a lot, but it's actually gonna be pretty easy. So you keep walking into the rock once you have the Ring of Ruby. You have to talk to the Joker Spring guy twice. They'll give you Ring of Ruby when all three springs are active. I like to kill that bee later, to like try to build up walk speed, and then I'll have zero walk speed when I'm going to grab the ladder anyway. Okay, so this enemy here, this guy's called a fencer. Well, not the official name, but that's kind of like, there's two types of enemies like this in the game. Wow, buddy, let me like talk about fencers for a moment. Okay, so it's kind of hard to see through the mist, but what these guys do is they just walk up to footsie range and wait. If I move right for even one pixel, I immediately get hit by a hitscan fireball that hits the entire ground floor. But if I just attack with longsword, it hits them. So I don't know if that means they're really smart or really dumb. You can actually like hold forward and with good timing you can like push them away. You can also take out this bee with a deluge. In fact, you kind of have to, because if you don't, if you just walk forward, you get clipped for two damage. But then you're going to lose your walk speed, so... It's faster to shoot the bee. Oh, another thing you can do. Uh, I used to do this. Um, if you really want to save on magic, you can do that. Okay, this screen. This is the way I do it. is falling off the ladder. And this is the way Tundra does it. Tundra just starts attacking. Oh. <laughs> the important thing is you want to get hit by the bee for a damage boost, not by the fence where you're trying to kill. And it's better to kill with a falling stab there. Uh, I'm also going to buy meat here. It's only 180 gold. You don't have to, but I think a lot of runners who are starting out will end up doing it. And yes, the budget can afford it. Okay, this screen. So what you do, you gotta climb high enough so that your head will bonk into this brick back here. The bee will push you into it. And again, it's a ladder reset. I'm in a standing state, so I can jump out. Oh, I missed it. And get another damage boost forward. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right into place for a nice double hit there. I guess you don't have to get hit by that bee either, but it just means you don't have to walk the other way to get the coin. <laughs> Rising deluge there. You can also finish these guys off with a... Oh, my computer lagged right when I went to do it. These fencers have uh, 35 HP, so you can finish them off with a, a follow-up follow through deluge. Oh, I timed my attack all wrong there. Guess I was used to a different amount of walk speed from uh, not being hit. Because I bought the meat, I have lots of magic, so I'm just gonna show off all the swag magic kills I can do. Okay, whatever. I got the I got the meat, I have tons of health. I'm just gonna do that to show that there's room to take it. Yeah, so these- also the other thing about fencers is they get really mad if you forward jump at them. Like, they will not accept being jump over, they'll like sprint after you. So, uh, what I did there is I made this guy come down from his perch by jumping. Because if you don't jump, he's gonna wait up there. Other thing you can do is just like, you know, you can wiggle. This is actually what I used to do. Uh, well... It also doesn't- actually, it doesn't save time to do the swag shot on this guy, because you have to wait for these Metroids to come down anyway. Oops. Do the wiggle. But the jump is easier. More reliable. 
Anyway, this screen. Two ways to do it. So you can just climb up and take big damage from this guy. Or if you can't afford the health for that. Just climb up here. Climb so that your feet are... This Metroid can hit you from either the left or right. There seems to be a little bit of variance there. Um, but if your foot is low enough, you'll just get pushed into either this brick or this wall here. And you won't get, like, pushed onto land and into threat range for the fencer. Boom. Super safe every time. Oh, I put my wing boost too early. I'm used to the way I run the game. Neutral jump. And yeah, you can you can just go like all the way across like that from nothing. I mean this this is supposed to be a puzzle that teaches you about the game's walk speed mechanic. Like <laughs> even if you have lots of walk speed, you can even do it from back there. But what most people end up doing is something like that. Uh, I think the more common way I see it is like just like a, you can delay a little bit on that second brick. Okay, so when you get to here. You have to go left to make this guy fall down. Because if you just go right, boom, fencer country. So you gotta wiggle left. And then we gotta come into here. Okay, this place is called Bird Hospital. We don't go to any hospitals in the run because hospitals are... Really expensive. Like, healthcare is really bad in Fazanadu Realm. Uh, <laughs> like, you generally, it's cheaper to get meat three times to <laughs> fully recover your meters. I guess it saves time to use the hospital, and then Dr. Phil Collins will tell you, Don't try too hard! So, make sure you don't try too hard. Anyway, so, just like when we're in a building, um, in, like, in towns, your weapon gets put away. You can't equip a weapon. You're, you're stuck with your punch. I cannot punch bird. So. We have to shoot bird with deluge five times. And secret wing boots will appear. It just so happens that's our fourth visit as well. And this is the... We're also uh, gonna farm this area a little bit. To make sure we'll have 4,500 by the time we get to the next town. So the best way to do that, these guys give 150 each. And also, we want to go into Bird Hospital three times to charge up our visits. Remember how I said uh, at the beginning of part two, scrolling the screen left to right takes uh, 80 frames or something, but going through a door or a vertical screen transition is much faster. So we're going to go in and out of Bird Hospital three times just to rack up the visits counter. And also farm these fencers for some cash while we're at it. Okay, money is fine. Oh, and this is uh, one of those doors that I was talking about, by the way, where, like, if you go in on the left or right side, you'll come out somewhere slightly different. Oh my god, I just saved my state while missing the jump. Great. Alright, well now we definitely have enough money. We're over 4,500. There we go. I like going into the notch and then jumping out. Okay. Here, it's time to use wing boots. Uh, if you need more money, you can kill this grasshopper. Not like that, but... Well, like that. <laughs> you can also kill this guy, or fly above him. If you're gonna fly above him, though, make sure you don't go at an angle. That's why. You can also ignore Grasshopper like that. Even gliding down. Okay. This screen. This is the fast way to do it. And I really, really encourage runners to do it. Because if you don't, look how slow it is. Because you're going to have to ascend twice and go down to minimum walk speed. Especially if you're buying meat, you can... You'll definitely have enough health for that. If you still don't have enough cash, you can take out that guy, and this bee, and this bee, but that's slow. You know, you, 
You, re you refresh Bird Hospital three times. That should be all the money you need, pretty much. Oops, oh, I wanted to save my state, not load it. Oops. My wing boot timer is probably a little bit lower than it should be. So, I guess I'll just pause here then. Okay. So there's this weird consequence of the physics in this game that I call crackdowning. Um, I guess I'll demonstrate once I get into town here. So if you press down and forward and like just, there we go, come into contact with like a crack in the floor. Look at this, I'm stuck in the floor, but I can jump out. Um, yeah, this only happens while wing boots are going. So this same phenomenon can happen when we're climbing down this ladder, and sometimes you'll just get stuck in the floor, like that. So you gotta press up to, to get out. Um, if you're holding down and right, um, you should be okay. It probably just depends on like where you are in your climbing animation. But yeah, just be prepared for this to happen. Be prepared to get stuck in the floor when you're trying to climb down the ladder and get into victim. Anyway. We gotta talk to the guru here. We gotta set this as our new uh, respawn point. And we gotta buy three king keys for 1500 each. Remember to hold left in between shop transactions. <laughs> Three King Key from SMT Nocturne. Also, you can press B to skip the thank you for shopping dialog box. I kind of forgot to mention that in part one. Boom. Okay. Oh, yeah, this screen. So, uh, we're, this is why we gotta keep our wing boots going. Make sure you're, like, not wasting time. This is a really huge shortcut to, to fly up here. Uh, I'm not even going to show, like, how long of a route you have to go, but it's, like, you got to go down and then right two screens and up a screen, then right and then right again, and then left, like, five screens. It's, it's a nightmare. Uh, but when you're flying up, make sure... Make sure you go on the right column. You have to go straight up on this right column. Or it won't work out for you. Alright, these guys will jump over you. And then right here is where you want to refresh your wing boots. You want to turn around. You want to catch this guy with a double stab. So pressing, since I gotta press down B, like, I gotta press B on the ground, I might as well press down B on the ground to use an item. Oh, that didn't work. Let me see if I can execute this better. Oh, I'm just trying to show off Squid Race too. Oh yeah, I didn't even mention, like, uh, this brick right here. You can stand on this brick. On this screen. I also don't recommend trying to outrace the squid. It's really hard. Okay. Oh, I pressed it too early is probably what happened. No? Huh. That's hilarious! Like... I'm overthinking it. Like, I never miss it when I'm not pressing down B. Yeah. You can kill- and yeah, you can also kill that guy without using a deluge, which is nice. Let me just, uh, execute one more time, though. Ooh, that's really bad if they get away on you, though. If you use- yeah. If you bought the meat and mask on, though, you'll have tons of magic. Don't be shy about taking shots. Okay. Actually, apparently it's, like, slightly better to just fly diagonally the whole way. 
All right, there's the safe way. You can wait for the squid. You can also like kind of hover underneath. Although I, uh, I can't help it, I'm gonna show off some ladder reset swag. In fact, this is a good place to learn ladder resetting, because look, you're like... You're approaching it from so far away, all you have to do is let go of up. Like, you, you don't have to let go of A, just let go of up. Boom, now you're standing, you can jump, you can jump again. And then, without even ladder resetting again, like just with climbing, or jumping, boom. Punch squid out of the way. Although to do a full-on ladder reset. You can just avoid him completely if you're fast. Okay. And jump on that second brick from the left. Oh. Should have recorded a safe state. Yeah, from this brick. That's where you jump. Alright, now here. You can stab, but sometimes you'll still get hit. It's another example of, uh... I'll just equip another king key. See, I pressed up on the door there. Oh, also your walk speed. The game remembers how much walk speed you have. I find the most surefire thing, just pay the troll toll, just shoot a deluge. You'll be safe no matter what. Okay, so these these Markman guys have really weird hitboxes. As you saw, I just walked like underneath them while they're short hopping and like covering the ground in swings, but I don't know. <laughs> Here's another uh, weird hitbox. When I get to b exactly between the third and fourth arch, like right here, I'm just gonna jump and seem to go right through them. It's weird. Pinecone guys. Fastest way through is to just get hit and then fly out of here. There's also ointment hidden on this screen, but we're not gonna bother with no ointment. And yeah, even if like, oh I don't want to get hit by that guy, well, you get hit by the other one. <laughs> is there any way to avoid it? I guess so, but it doesn't feel very good. Anyway, just to make my health look correct, let's go like that. Okay, so this screen. Um. Right, so these wyverns are kind of on like a global AI. So notice how when he lifts his wings, this one's gonna fire a fake fireball. Give me a little more time to walk around up there. So in case your wing boots ran out for some reason, then uh, that's how you deal with this. Because if you remember, actually I'm just gonna frame skip here to make the wing boots run out. You climb ladders faster with wing boots going, right? Well, you won't have enough time to get up. Also, uh... These guys are really hard to fight. That's how you do it, but... That's, uh... Yeah. Much preferable to just have wing boots and fly over top. Remember to hold A while you're falling here to glide onto this ladder. Oh yeah, a whole day when making that jump, that's why. Oh, I just saw my wing boots timer here. Maybe I lost some wing boot seconds while I was screwing around for the tutorial, so... I'm just gonna make some pauses to make my timer a bit longer. It shouldn't be this low. Actually, wait, it actually should. Well, just for the sake of demonstration, though. If you don't do any wing boot pausing, then you have to go along the top here.
So I'm gonna let him run out. Just to prove that you can get into the arena if you don't have wing boots. The key is... You have to stand on this column to make this guy jump left. If you stand, like, here... Oh. Here, I guess? Oh, wow. That... that close? No, oh, today I learned. There we go. Just sticks to the right the whole time. But you just go over here, you get a window to slip in. And give him one of these. If you don't have magic... quickly demonstrate. Just get into the arena this way. See, I haven't got any magic. So, similar to Wyverns, you can only hurt this guy in the head with your sword. You, there's no hurt box on the arm for your sword to hit. Like, see? Good example is if, uh... Trying to make him jump over me. Yeah, there we go. Can't hit that arm at all. But you can hit the head. In fact, you can get... Oh. This guy has 117 HP, by the way. You can get in two double stabs per jump cycle, if you... Get one while he's falling like that. But that shouldn't even be necessary, especially because you got that meat and mask on earlier. Sorry, I should be going in the top road. And yeah, you have to do something about Pinecone. You have to either stab it out of the way, or just take the hit. Alright, we're not flying. I'm trying to say, you can avoid getting the meat and mask on. Because the ideal way to do it is like yeah, just basically when I'm yeah, I'm basically going like that. Well, I can get more than one deluge in there. You can only have one on screen at a time, but. Uh, bosses have two separate invincibility frame timers, like one for your sword that refreshes slowly and one for your magic that refreshes really quickly. Um, so you can you can kill them with magic pretty quickly. And in case you learn some wing boot pausing, like I think if you don't do any pauses, you're gonna like barely run out of time. But I think if you can nail like just four or five with two pairs of wing boots, you can fly into the boss arena. Oh right, that's the that's the better way to get down there. Well, zero on the clock. Oh not quite. Okay. Well here's okay, here's here's three pauses for the fight itself then. Did he hit it? Pause on the fourth note of the music. There we go. <laughs> pause on the fourth note of the music, pause when your deluge hits, and then pause when it jumps over you. Oh, I had slightly too much health. But yeah, after you get the Black Onyx, you just want to get down here and ask the skeleton to finish you off. And then you'll respawn in Victim. And that should do it for part three of the tutorial. Never called out where part two ended aloud.